So the second invasive that you're likely to find in your backyard, especially if you have an area of trees or some section of woods, is bush honeysuckle. And anybody that's familiar with bush honeysuckle can see why it's so bad. It has completely taken over the understory of the woodlands. The reason we don't like bush honeysuckle, I'm gonna cover three reasons that it's bad. The first one being, it completely shades out any native vegetation that has the potential to grow below it. So if you can kind of look on the ground, there's really nothing but smaller honeysuckle and unfortunately garlic mustard growing in these woods. The second reason that it's bad is honeysuckle roots actually exude a toxin into the soil as a method to compete with other plants for resources. So that helps it have the ability to take up all the water and all the nutrients that it needs without having anything grow below it. So it's basically making the soil uninhabitable for our native species. And the last thing is, if you have ever seen honeysuckle in the fall, it gets red berries along the twig. And you might think, wow, these red berries are great for my backyard birds. But in reality, because honeysuckle is non-native to Indiana, these berries don't provide any nutritional value to the birds. It's basically like eating candy bars their entire migration. Let's talk about identification. There's a couple ways to identify bush honeysuckle from other native plants and to tell if you have it growing in your backyard. So the very first way and the very first thing that I always look at is branch orientation. So honeysuckle is oppositely oriented, which basically just means that if you follow along the branch, you'll see that the leaf producing twigs are going to be opposite from one another and that's going to be consistent all the way along the plant. Second way to tell honeysuckle from other plants is the bark. So honeysuckle has a very shreddy textured bark going all the way up the plant, especially at the base of the plant. So this is an older honeysuckle and you can even tell how shreddy the bark looks on the younger versions of the honeysuckle. Now the last way when you're looking at the wood and at the bark is if you cut honeysuckle, most of the time it's gonna have this hole in the center of the stem. So this is a real easy way to tell that you're dealing with bush honeysuckle. Now there are some natives that look a lot like bush honeysuckle and are opposite oriented along the branches. One of note is dogwood. It's a really great native species it grows really shrubby, just like honeysuckle, but there are a couple key differences when identifying. The first thing to look at is the bark. Honeysuckle, like I said, has this super shreddy bark. Dogwoods will have a different bark. The second way, no pun intended, a different bark. The second way to tell is by looking at the leaves. So honeysuckle has more of a Hershey Kiss shaped leaf and its leaf veins, which are these lines, go all the way out to the side of the leaf. You can tell a little bit better by looking at the back of the leaf, how they go directly to the side. Now, if we're dealing with a dogwood, the leaf is gonna be more ovate and the veins will follow the leaf margin all the way to the tip. So those are the best ways that I can advise you to tell honeysuckle from a dogwood. So now that you've identified that you do indeed have honeysuckle in your backyard or on your property, let's talk about a couple ways to get rid of it. Honeysuckle comes in different shapes, different sizes. So I have an example of big honeysuckle and small honeysuckle, and that is gonna tell you or give you a better idea of the best method to get rid of it. So I have honeysuckles here that are this little, but if you look behind me, I have honeysuckles that are 15, 20 feet tall back through here with really wide stem bases. So the first way we're gonna talk about is how to get rid of these little guys. And the best way to do it is to just remove the entire plant. Honeysuckles tend to be shallow rooted. So if you have these real little guys like I do, you can just go in with your hands and pull them out. So I'm gonna put on my gloves, safety first, and any other PPE that you feel is necessary. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get close to the base of this plant. If your soil is loose, you should be able to just pull it out. Okay. 
if your soil is not loose, grab a couple tools that you might have laying around and try to dig out the entire plant. Now, when it comes to these big guys, you need something a little bit more heavy duty. You can use a handsaw. I always prefer to use loppers because I feel like I have a little bit more control and I'm not, you know, sawing back and forth. So when you have honeysuckles about this size, loppers tend to work really well. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your loppers and you're gonna go to the very base of the plant, as close to the ground as you can get it. And you're just gonna work to cut out that stem. Now, if you're doing this in the early spring like I am, one thing you can do with your honeysuckle stems, because there's no flowers or no berries, is you can make habitat piles. And habitat piles are basically just piles of cut honeysuckle or any sort of pile of cut wood that's gonna provide good shelter and habitat for small mammals and for birds. Now, once you do cut the stem, you have to act quickly and you have to treat this or else it's gonna re-sprout and it's gonna to start to come back. So my best suggestion is to go to the Southern Indiana Cooperative Invasives Management page, otherwise known as Sikkim, and look at their recommendations. They have an entire calendar for how to treat different invasives at different times of the year and what methods you can do to treat and remove them. So now's the best time to get out in your backyard, identify what invasives you have, and get to work.